to this episode of Mullet Family. My sister Priscilla and her husband came visiting all the way from Alaska. Then Marvin built my mom and dad a greenhouse. After that, we did some spring planting. Make sure to stay tuned all the way to the end when my son Morgan makes popsicles. We hope you enjoy this content. If you do, please consider giving us a like, subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment. We love hearing from you. Hey Jordan, do you know what we're making? Today's project, we're making a greenhouse for Mary's mom. They wanted a really tiny one, but I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger than what they had maybe thought. So stay tuned. I'll show you guys how to make a greenhouse. I've had a few greenhouses in the past and this is about the most simple effective way that I've come up with making a greenhouse is using PVC pipe. I've had some in the past that I had just arched over and I discovered they don't work very well because the snow will sit on top and take them down. Every time you get a few inches of snow you have to go out and rake the snow off. So this little pitch right here helps tremendously as far as putting just enough pitch on it that the snow will slide off for the most part. through here but this is going to go up like this only thing different is it's going to sit on the outside so I have to pre-drill holes there to screw into there it's going to be a nice tall greenhouse Just making marks here so that all the screws are gonna hit the board. Over here. Okay, look over there. So if you all can see that, Jordan had a tick bite about a week ago and we went and pulled it out. A day or so later, after two, maybe a day and a half, two days after we pulled it out, he had a real high fever. Uh, we kept checking it, gave him a short haircut, shaved this spot off, and then we started seeing the ring around it. That's a telltale sign of a tick bite that might have limes. So we took him in right away and got him on a uh, precautionary medicine medication to kill all tick-borne viruses um, bacteria so thankfully he's doing very well and uh, yeah thankful that we have the medication nowadays that they didn't have not so long ago
some of you might wonder, well, why do you need a greenhouse? Well, up where we're at, by the close to the 48th parallel, having a greenhouse will make the difference between getting tomatoes or not getting tomatoes. It'll lengthen your season three, four weeks on either end. Uh, if you try, depending on where you're at here in the mountains, if you don't have a greenhouse, you won't get any fruit as far as tomatoes because if you plant them out in the garden late enough that the frost doesn't get it, and we're talking end of May, first of June, sometimes it frosts in June, you can't grow a tomato to ripen before it, the frost hits anywhere from the last week in August to September on. Here in Montana, if you want a longer growing season, if you want a lot of tomatoes, you pretty much need to have a greenhouse. There are exceptions. The place that we just sold was in a, a little bit of a plateau. Last fall, most of the surrounding areas, um, people from our church family, even closer to town, lower elevations, they had a killing frost. Their garden was completely done. Three or four weeks, and we were in a little plateau, like it just didn't freeze. So in a new place here, we're, we're still kind of got my fingers crossed here because a lot of times it's a few degrees colder here than it is two miles down the road. Anyway, this is gonna be grandma's greenhouse. What do you think we do next, Jordan? Don't know? <laughs> I'm gonna miss this little guy next year because he's gonna be in school. And what am I gonna do? have to work for myself. Two foot door should be wide enough. Here we're putting the uprights in. This is the size of the door. I'll get everything together, hold it up there, and then I'll just take a pencil and mark that and then cut it off. And here's my little helper. <laughs> in to space all these. These are just kind of flopping here. I need to put one up the middle. So the board on top is the spacer to keep everything at two foot and I'm just debating if I need to put one here. I think it would be, yeah, I think I do need to put one there.
our backyard. Today, we're going to do some seed planting. Morgan, can you tell us what we're doing? Well, first of all, we're going to take these planting plugs and we're going to put them in hot water. Yeah. And then we're going to put them in these little holes. They're all over here. There's 72 of them. And then we put our little seeds in it. One or two seeds per like little dent that's in one plug. Yep. So the first thing we'll probably be planting are tomatoes and cucumbers and maybe some watermelon. These are called lemon cream sickles from the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook. Stay tuned all the way to the end and I'm going to show you how I make them. They may not be the lemon cream sickles. These are the lemon cream sickles and I think they're a little bit sour, but they also have other kinds. And this is the cookbook and as you can see this this one has been well used. Someone took markers and marked out the faces of these sweet ladies, but I use it all the time. Over the years, last couple of years, sometimes I'd bite into a good apple and I would keep the seeds. And these are going into the ground. Plant some apple trees. I think they're galas, yellow delicious, honey crisps. It'll be a surprise. Oops, I lost that one. It's right here, Dad. Can you shove it in there? It's a little late, but better late than never, right? Huh? You like tomatoes, Jordan? Yeah. No. You like ketchup? Yes. Well, then you like tomatoes. Because <laughs> tomatoes is what's used to make ketchup. <laughs> Did you know that? Did you know that they use tomatoes to make ketchup? Thank you. 
I'm outside today, I'm making creamsicles. The Trim Healthy Mama Mango Creamsicles. I have all the ingredients here, and I'll be showing you how to make them. We have about two cups of cubed ma mangoes that are frozen. About a half cup of zero fat Greek yogurt, and another half cup of water. We have a gluki, Pierce vanilla, we have our blender, stevia, and lemons. I mean, lemon juice. So, so now I'm gonna blend all these in, and when that's done, we're gonna put these in there in the molds. And in one or two hours, we'll be ha we'll have popsicles.